one thing that we can do right now is make some holes that would allow for clamps to be placed. So we can go back to our sketch and we can actually do that by rolling back in the history and just clicking on this sketch here. We could add a breakpoint and I'm just going to put some big circular holes. Um, what I'm going to do is actually set this specific number, let's say 50 for this as well. And I'm going to draw another circle here that's going to help us drive that particular circle. Call this uh, 225. And what I can do is I can array this circle around and make a duplicate of it. So we're going to pattern. We're going to make a circular pattern. We're going to say that it's going to be nine circles. And we'll go the full 360. like that. And I think I'm going to make this inner circle a little smaller. So we're going to call this 200, just to give us a little bit more structure along the outside. That looks pretty good right there. So now I'm going to remove my breakpoint. And I'm going to adjust my extrusion to edit the profile. And I'm just going to use this inner and outer profile like this. I can select these areas here because I don't need them to be empty. And we can just hit our check mark over here. And there we go. So now we have places to put clamps and to actually connect things to this template. And this could be stacked up plywood or MDF that has been CNC'd into a shape. Uh, and that could be your main template. 